A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 30th June, Sunday. On the front page, you have Trump Z sealed trade war truce. So, US held talks on with Chinese President Xi Jinping. So, these talks on have finally resulted in USA holding off the further tariffs on Chinese goods and has granted relief for Huawei, the telecom company, Chinese telecom company. Then below you have Muslim youth thrashed, thrashed in Kanpur. So he refused to chant Jai Shri Ram and oh, attackers thrashed him. And then you have these bilateral meetings which took place on the sidelines of G20 summit between India and other member nations like you know, this is Australian Prime Minister. Too. On page 8 you have after CM's meet, AP Telangana move ahead on asset sharing. So, this is regarding the two states, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So, there is need for asset sharing and you know, even uh, transfer norms for staffs because it was single by, uh, state before it got bifurcated into two, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So, officials of both sides have met for the second day now and they are discussing issues related to division of assets of Schedule 9 and 10 institutions which are corporations, cooperatives and other organizations. So, all this provision is there in the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act which has to be put into effect now. Then, this is transfusion of wrong blood type kills women. So, Andhra Pradesh government has suspended several staff when a young woman who had just become a mother died in a general hospital in Andhra Pradesh after being wrongly administered a wrong blood type. So, it's a shocking case of medical callousness that is sending ripples across the establishment. So, this woman was 32 year old who died in the hospital. Then on page 9 you have only 20% of Nirbhaya fund has been used by states until 2018. So, central government has pumped in more this year despite the overshow of some states. So, Nirbhaya fund you should know was established in 2015 after the uh, Delhi incident of gang rape, the brutal gang rape in which the victim was known by the name Nirbhaya. So, here the Nirbhaya fund actually we have seen that the implementation in the states so these are the implementation steps that need to be taken for safety of women. So, fund utilization has been quite low. Only 20% of it has been used by states. So, this is last year's data. So, it says one, no state has used any fund released for the cyber crime prevention against women and children schemes. Then Delhi has utilized 30 lakh from the Central Victim Compensation Fund but has not used any money released for other schemes. 18 states have not utilized anything from the Emergency Response Fund. This is a concern. The scheme has not been implemented by states. Then on page 11, you have G20 resolves to free internet of extremism. So, it says that internet should be freed. All extremist content on the internet has to be purged. So, it says it must not be a terror safe haven, the internet. So, the G20 meets spoke on this issue. And this is... One Nation, One Ration Card from July 1, 2020. So, under the One Nation, One Ration Card system, beneficiaries can buy subsidized food grains from a ration shop in any part of the country. So, this Aadhaar linkage will be needed for it to work and this will be put into effect from 1st July 2020 next year. Then on international page, you have Trump offers to meet North Korea's Kim. So, US President Donald Trump has proposed a handshake meet with North Korean leader at the demilitarized zone on North-South border, North Korea-South Korea border and North Korea has welcomed it. And this is a conciliatory tone at G20. So, US President at G20 summit showed readiness to cooperate on major issues now. So, it was a softer tone by Trump here. On business page, you have Reliance Home defers non-convertible debentures repayment. So, it cites cash crunch and it has extended maturity of non-convertible debentures worth 400 crore rupees till October 31 now. And this is low oil price, food supply keep, kept inflation low. So, amended RBI Act has set the target of inflation targeting at 4%. So, this is what is being spoken of that inflation has been kept low and the reasons mean low oil prices and food supply in place.
Then on Sundays, you have FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions Coverage in the Hindu. So this is very, very important. First one is, should India stay with RCEP? So this was in news over the week. Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, an agreement, uh, a free trade agreement between among 16 nations, Asian members, 10 Asian members, and the six nations with which Asian has FTA, which includes India also. India, China, Australia, New Zealand. So you can see Japan. So here is the detail regarding whether India should stay with RCP not given. It says what are the concerns regarding the RCP mooted by Asian that well, those questions are answered from scratch and it talks of how, why, what is holding up India's entry into the trade practice. So this is very very important. And this is measuring black money. It says, why is it so difficult to quantify unaccounted income both within and outside the country? This was also in news over the week. What are the steps the government can take? So that is all discussed. So this is very important because we had seen how black money estimation had a huge variation because of it. The parliamentary committee said we cannot uh, provide an estimate. So it ranged from you know like very low to very high. And this is, why are monsoons difficult to predict? So this is again a look at the methods of production uh, of forecast in India's seasonal rain. So uh, the methods have changed or not is discussed and what are the factors that can turn prediction awry. So though predictions are made but then still they do not live up to the predictions. So what are the factors which are responsible for making monsoon unpredictable in India. Then on science and technology page, coverage is there every Sunday. Here you have IIT Hyderabad fabricates device for early diagnosis of heart attack. So this is a microfluidic device that can detect the biomarker even at low concentrations and you know, early diagnosis of heart attack. And then this is Indian scientists to be CO1 for NASA's punch mission. So this is NASA's mission which will study the sun using four suitcase sized microsats. So India is also involved in this mission. You can see it's a co-investigator of the punch mission. And this is IISCR Kolkata takes a step towards predicting space weather. So a team of scientists here have predicted the shape of the sun's atmosphere that the eclipse will reveal. And finally, here you have Nipah virus. Experimental antiviral drug shows promise. So this is Nipah virus which had struck Kerala. And uh, there is a drug, Remdesivir drug, used for Ebola treatment. It is seen it can stop Nipah virus from making new copies of its genome too. So this experimental antiviral drug shows promise for uh, Nipah as such too. Then on the last page you have, cosmic waves discovery could unlock the mysteries of space. So this is the first time that precise source of a powerful one-off burst of cosmic radio waves has been pinpointed. So international astronomers have pinpointed the source of this cosmic radio waves. It's a massive galaxy billions of light years away. So with this the discovery, it could unlock the mysteries of the space. So this is the you can see, mysterious fast radio wave bursts which were detected. Then below you have Facebook Libra may shine where banks lost their shield. So the digital currency of Facebook which is going to be launched. So this Libra it is aimed at having a at a huge potential market for financial services in the developing world. Where billions of people don't use traditional banking accounts. So this is discussed here. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website ashr.com and download the PDF there too. Thank you.